Bad this. Batch, Season 3, Episode 9, The Harbinger. Let's start off with some cons here. What were some cons of this episode? I feel like we're going to have a lot less cons than we are going to have pros for this episode. Um, Just non-spoilers. You have passage one. of time. That's a con oh, for yes. me. It like, didn't really see much passage of time. Okay. I'll just say that. In the episode? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I was like, it was, okay. I think you were watching it in real time. It must have been. The episode was 27 minutes. So that's exactly how many minutes it ah, took to do that. Uh, the distance. <laughs> the distance. His name is my name, too. The distance yeah. alone. It how many parsecs was it? Right? The people always shout. Yeah. yeah. I don't have very many cons for this episode. I, to be honest, I really enjoyed it. So yeah. I'm struggling. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's Hey, that's okay. We we like when things are good. And we're going to call it out when it's good. We're going to call it out when it's bad. John Jacob Dingle. Try to it's keep good. It real. <laughs> Fact checker, did you have any cons, or could you think of anything for this episode? I mean, close to the beginning, I was like, okay. I mean, it's cute and fun, but we didn't necessarily need it. It's just too. What did you say? Plot convenience. Yeah. At one point. So, oh yeah. It's yeah, a plot you device. See right through it, but it's fine. So it's yeah. just, it's a very minor con. One con for me is a little predictable for a character that showed up. Predictability. Like we knew it was gonna happen. Wait, I guess yeah. we didn't know when. John Jacob. I, I didn't mind that. Honestly, oh. I wish they wouldn't have spoiled it. Yeah. It would have been much more like, I think, holy yeah. crap. That's a great point. Yeah. That's actually, the trailer. That's yeah. actually, I'd say the trailer con. Let's yeah. jump to the pros, because there's way more pros in this one. Yeah. And it's not spoiler so we're still non-spoiling. So like food. <laughs> Absolutely a pro was the music in this episode. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice. right I'm away. back. It's music time. <laughs> Although, <laughs> the music, again, Sorry. was good. Mm -hmm. It wasn't the lead. This episode had enough to lean on. That's good. That it didn't need the music to carry it. I, I thought it fit very well, and you pointing it out actually made me l think about it more as we were watching. I was like, that fits. I actually really like that they did that. That's kind of what we need more yes. in Star Wars is those themes. Atmosphere. We need themes. I, I feel like we're missing themes for certain parts of, yep. of the shows and the movies and stuff like that that really accentuate and get our minds, because the music really gets our minds set on what's happening in the scene. I liked the flow of the, the episode, the... Um, intrigue, mm -hmm. the calling out of each the different characters. There's a lot of good stuff. So I really <laughs> felt like this episode <laughs> stood out. It was its own thing, I think you could say. That's a, it, it pulls from deeper lore in some aspects, but it felt like a super solid episode of The Bad Batch. And it was one of the first episodes that I was like, I like this show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not that there like were others show. in the past, yeah. but I was like, every character in this sh in this episode felt right yes. to me. Yeah. It felt like we got into the groove. There was harmony of, between Yeah, there was harmony everything. between all the characters mm -hmm. going on, even from the things that happened. Mm -hmm. I think how they interacted was perfect. Mm -hmm. Even the explanations yep. of, of things we needed to know in this episode Episode. We're solid. This episode for me is probably one of the best episodes of the yeah. Bad Batch so I think far. So too. Yep. Yeah. All right, we, we gotta, gotta rate this. this. All right, so uh, let's jump into this rating. All right, fact checker, you're going first. What would you rate this? I'd go five. I think it's the second five Whoa. out of the season for me. I liked it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> sure, I'm gonna give a it a one. four and a half out of five for family friendliness. For family friendliness. <laughs> me, I'm gonna go. You know, crazy enough, I'm gonna go 4.7, 4.75. Whoa, I got How beat. It's not perfect, <laughs> but it is. I would say perfect is like six out of five. Yeah, good. It's gotta be. It's gotta be That's five. beyond perfect. That's like <laughs> masterpiece. That's like Princess Bride. Marriage. Marriage is what we together. Four point two five. Four point two. All right. Ooh. All right. Today. So uh, that's our rating of uh, The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 9, The Harbinger. The Harbinger. The Harbinger. Yeah. yeah uh, but let us know in the chat and also the comments below. And if you're watching this back later, we'd love to hear from you. What do you guys think of this episode? Yeah. We'd love to hear it. And uh, let us know. Uh, we thought it was pretty dang good. So. Uh, could you guys give me just a few more minutes? I just started the third act.